Okay, so we can't confirm aliens, <laughs> but can we confirm warm weather? We can, and I have some good news if you're a fan of the warm weather. That'll continue, but we won't go up into space. We'll go up to where planes are flying to look at the weather pattern and the steering mechanisms that uh, direct where storms flow across the nation and across the globe, and that jet stream is really supercharged across the southern U.S., delivering a lot of moisture to the Gulf Coast states and up towards the eastern seaboard. This other branch of the jet stream coming into the west coast, delivering uh, another atmospheric river event to parts of the Pacific Northwest. A lot of that moisture going up into Canada, and we're left under this ridge or this uh, little bulge in the jet stream going up to the north of us, and then we get the mild weather, and that's going to continue. But that subtropical jet stream really allowing for a sizable storm system along the eastern seaboard today with rain and mountain snow into the New England states. And here's that strong system coming on shore to the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada, but we're just dealing with the Pacific air with those milder temperatures as the even mid and high level clouds stream into central Canada north of us. So going hour by hour here through Sunday, we'll stay with those bright blue skies to wake up. Not a cloud in the sky for much of the day, I think similar to today, just those bright blue skies and a light wind switching from the south to be out of the west between 10 and 20 miles per hour as we go into the afternoon hour. Should be another great day of weather as we'll start off in the low to middle 20s with that mostly clear sky and abundant sunshine throughout the entire day on your Sunday. Again, cooler to the north, especially north central, northeastern North Dakota, where there's a bit more snowpack on the ground. Only a high of 39 forecast in Minot, but contrast that to snowless areas. Southwest North Dakota, the warmest 57 in Dickinson, 62 for Hedegar. We do it all over again with those same temperatures in the southwest on Monday, but warming up significantly in the north central for the first day of your work week. 48 in Minot, 55 on Monday in Bismarck, and then very similar temperatures on Tuesday. A few more clouds in the area Monday and Tuesday. So let's go as we over the next couple of days here. We'll have a number of warm fronts gliding through the area, just boosting those temperatures day by day. A lot of sunshine in the area for your Sunday. Then into Monday, a couple more of these weak systems pass through, but they won't provide any precipitation. Just a few scattered clouds from here uh, from time to time. On Tuesday, weak area of high pressure passes by. Again, a few scattered clouds here and there, but on Wednesday, we'll have a weak storm system nearby. That could provide a couple of isolated shower chances, but nothing significant. The overall trend on the seven-day forecast is for dry conditions with the warmest weather to start those first three days before we do see uh, temperatures back down into the 40s. By the end of the seven-day forecast, Friday and Saturday could feature some windier weather, but not looking too bad here as we're going into mid-March. All right, transitioning from a nice winter to a nice spring. Yes. All right, thanks, Jacob. Yeah.